Welcome to this week's Book of the Week with myself, your ex, also known as Brushes of Doom. And this week we have Cult Movie Art, a very awesome book that we can jump right into. Uh, it is forwarded by Kevin Smith, one of my favorite podcasters and directors, but uh, is brought to you by Gallery 88 or 1988. And if for those who don't know who uh, Gallery 1988 is, it's the like world's most premier gallery for pop culture artwork in the entire world uh, located off of La Brea in Melrose. I know that because I used to work down the street from there and it was an amazing place to visit. And to kind of capture the essence of what they're about in one book is really, really cool because you have things that are regurgitated. And I know that sounds like a negative word or a connotation of, of, an, of an observation, but in reality, I... I'd like to see things that I'm familiar with nostalgia wise. And after a while, you can kind of get almost, I don't know, bored of seeing things over and over and over. But the great thing about um, Gallery 1988 is that they have a bunch, a bunch of juxtaposed type artists that come into the setting and take their own spin and interpretation and how to tell the, uh, the story or an icon- iconic moment in a movie film book and just put it in their own vision and words almost like a form of storybook telling and the great thing about this book is that this is the first out of a two series that just helps you reimagine famous movies from a point of view of somebody in retro art and contemporary in surrealism uh photorealism i mean just so many different ideas and it's it's a great look into the subculture slash pop culture of the art world um, this book is probably about 250 pages long. It's one of my favorites to go to because when I'm looking for a different type of style, when it comes to um, characters, when it comes to storytelling, all the way down to just how colors work, uh, this is probably one of the best books that you will ever get, grab, and or collect in general. If you're not an artist and you're just down with collecting books or you're just like a good coffee table book, this is one you can really look at and it has my favorite thing and it has all the references stated uh, next to the photos as well as in the back. There are some that don't have them and it can help you learn and grow as far as more knowledgeable in the collecting art from artists all over the world. So grab yours today, Cult Movie Art.